What I'm about to show you is going to be the easiest, quickest and most cost effective way how you can build an AI cold calling agent and there's literally no similar setup out there. And the best part of it, you get access to all of the manuals and templates completely for free so that you can literally copy that whole setup and use it inside of your own business. After watching this video, you will be able to build a complete AI caller that can call thousands of numbers within a few seconds. It will also be able to completely personalize the data so that you can get a higher conversion rate on these leads. And the best part of it is that you can implement it in literally any kind of industry for any kind of business and I promise you there is no similar setup out there so this video is literally everything you need for getting started with the best AI call calling agent. All right that's it with the talking let's get right into it. To get started we need a couple of tools. Number one is Vapi AI which is basically our infrastructure provider for us to create AI cold calling agents. The second tool is make.com which is basically a workflow automation tool that allows us to connect different services together so that they can talk to each other. Number three is very obvious it's Google Sheets which is what we are going to use as our lead database. And last Lastly, the fourth tool we're going to use is JSONOTE, which you have probably heard from my previous videos. It is a tool that I created for you guys completely for free, which allows you to validate JSON constructs so that you can structure data from a simple text. Now to actually get started with it, simply head over to hub.integraticus.com, which is my resource hub where I'm sharing all kinds of templates, prompts and files, whatever you can see inside of my YouTube videos completely for free so that you can simply copy it. Once logged in, you will find a manual that looks something like this, which says AI cold caller in whatever minutes, and you will see also the amount the tools you need so you can simply click on these links and just sign up for them. Then you can also import make.com templates and you will find a couple of more prompts. But we go through every of those tools step by step. The first thing we are going to do is basically set up the AI cold calling infrastructure which runs on vapi.ai. To do that you simply head over to vapi.ai and you create an account. I obviously already did that so I'm just going to log in. So the first step you want to do is obviously purchase a phone number. So I have already done that here but if you haven't all you need to do is click on buy number and you can enter an area code from the US or Canada and just purchase a number through Vapi. Or if you're using Twilio or Vonage, you can add your very own credentials as well. Once you have done that, it looks something like this. You will have your number here available. You will have an ID that is right here and you will be able to select an assistant, which is not what we're going to do because that doesn't matter in our case. All we are going to do is we wanted to purchase the phone number and now we are already starting creating an assistant. So I already have one here, but if you're new, you simply click on create new assistant. You choose whatever kind of version you want. You can basically start with the appointment setter and then just replace the values. Click on continue, give this whole thing a name, basically whatever the AI assistant is called and then create it. In my case, I already did that. And as you can see here, we have a first message prompt and a system prompt. You will get access to both of those prompts as well inside of my resource hub. So you can simply go over here and just copy them directly from within the resource hub and then paste them inside of Vapi. If you don't know, and if you haven't worked with Vapi before, it basically allows you to create an AI voice assistant visually right within here. Um, I'm not gonna go much over the settings. I will just quickly fly over them because there are a couple of things that you might be confused if you have worked with Vapi before, which is this part here, a dynamic tag, because Vapi by default doesn't support dynamic tags. So everything I'm going to give you today is actually optimized so that you can use dynamic tags directly inside of Vapi to create a cold calling agent that supports those dynamic tags for more personalization. So this is a feature I built into the workflows. I'm going to show you as well once we set it up. Once you have set up your prompts, you can also adjust the transcriber if you want to. I would just leave most of that stuff by, as a default. For 11 labs, I chose Sarah. You don't need to have any functions for this kind of bot or this cold caller. And for the advanced setting, you can adjust one part, which is down here, which we're going to adjust once we actually have that make URL. In the next step, we are going to set up the Google lead sheet, which is basically where we store all of the leads or users we want to call to and where we want to basically validate the information. Since I haven't mentioned it in the beginning, the agent we are basically going to build is a real estate cold calling agent that can call a user and just ask them if they want to sell the property and what kind of property type it is that they're currently having. So those kind of informations we simply feed into a Google sheet that looks something like this. You will also have access to that directly inside of our resource hub so you can simply download and copy it and you will have the exact same setup here. So as you can see, it has a couple of columns. It has a phone number, first name, status, wants to sell and the extra property details. The phone number is pretty clear, which is basically the user that you would like to call. So in case you have a lead list, you simply add all of the phone numbers right within here, along with their first names if you have one. And for the status, that is basically the definition of whenever we would like to make a call. So let's say you put in the information and you want to now start the call for that user. All you do is you simply set this to not dash called. And then within a time frame of 15 minutes, this AI agent will call this number and will basically ask him the questions and then after automatically fills this information, which basically tells you if the user wants to sell, which can be either yes or in the future or not at all. The extra property details is basically everything validated what the assistant can gather from that user that he had a call with. And 
This is literally it. So nothing else we need to do here. This is the whole setup. I'm gonna give this whole thing a name and obviously here I have my number. So I just hit it a little bit so you cannot see my number. And we're gonna call this lead, for example, Alex. So this is Alex we would like to call and ask about the property. Since we haven't activated any scenarios, this is what we're gonna go in the, what we're gonna do in the next step. Um, but actually before going on to make.com, we need to do one more thing, which is create an account on JSONOut, the platform that I created for you so that you can validate invalid JSON constructs that are basically coming from OpenAI or any other kind of LLM. I'm not gonna go too deep into it what it is, but all you need to do is you simply create an account and once you are logged in, you will find an API key right here, which is literally all you need. So in the next step, what you need to do is you need to set, uh, create a make.com account and create two scenarios. You can create a scenario by clicking on scenario, then you will see a button up here for creating the scenario and that's it. So after that, you simply head into the resource app. You can download both of those make.com templates right here and you can import them one by one. In one scenario, you're gonna click on the on the button down here. You click on import blueprint and you import that first scenario, which is the dynamic call call of API scenario. So once you have done that, as you can see here, it is, looks pretty complex, but don't be afraid. You don't need to configure much. I try to make it as simple as possible. The first thing you do is obviously you connect your Google Sheet with that Google Sheet of the Google Lead Sheet that we just created. I have done that right here, call calling database, which is exactly that one where we basically added our leads. Once you have done that, you can simply click OK. And there are four more things that we need to configure. Number one is obviously the assistant ID, which is the ID of the assistant that we created inside of Papi. So to get that, you simply head into your assistant, you copy that ID, you head back into this template and you paste this one right within here. Then you also add your VAPI API key, which I'm not gonna show you now, but you will find this VAPI API key inside of your account under the API key section right here. Then you also need to set up the phone number ID, which is a very similar process, which is located in the phone number under the phone number ID, which is this one that you cannot really see here, but there is a copy icon next to it. So you simply copy that and paste it inside of here, click OK, and then move on. The last thing we need to adjust right within here is that dynamic variable setup, which basically defines the dynamic text we want to use inside of the assistant. If you are fine with having only the first name and the current time text, you don't need to adjust anything. You can just leave it the way it is. Otherwise you could adjust it and basically just add multiple text here. Additionally, I'm just gonna show you quickly how you can do that. You simply copy the JSON string. There is a free tool called jsoneditoronline.org. You just open that up and in any of those fields, you just paste this code as you can see here. And we then literally can just duplicate this code and can say something like that. Set this to last underscore name within the double quotes. And then you can remove this information and then map this automatically inside of, uh, inside of make.com when you set this thing up again. So as you can see here, we have last name. Now you can basically map the dynamic value if you would collect it inside of your lead database or inside of your lead sheet. Just add it here and it's done. I'm not gonna save it because I'm fine with these two texts. So if you don't need to adjust anything else there, this is literally it. You don't need to adjust anything else in here. It is completely dynamic. All you do is click on save and you click on scheduling down here. Then we are heading over to the next scenario. So we're going again to scenario, you create a new scenario. You're gonna download the other blueprint that you will find inside of the resource app right here, this dynamic call color sync data. You're going to import it as well again with here more import blueprint and you will see something like this. Right in here, there are only Three things that you need to configure, which is the first one, obviously, to again, just connect your cold calling database lead sheet. Nothing else to do, you simply click on OK. You create a connection with your OpenAI account. Everything else is already configured, so you don't need to touch anything. Once you have selected it, you can click OK and you are done. And lastly, you need to add your JSONode API key right here, which, of, like I mentioned, you will find inside of your JSONode account right here. After you've done that, you again click on save and you just schedule this scenario. So now you can already test this thing and this whole thing is already functional. There's literally nothing else you need to do for that. And to actually test it, what you need to do is you go into your cold calling database, you add a lead, for example, in that case, I already did that for me. So what I'm going to do now is I basically call myself through that AI caller. So now I set it to not dash call. So if I'm going to run the scenario manually and I haven't scheduled it yet, by the way, um, with scheduling, it means that make.com checks every 15 minutes if there is a new row inside of your Google sheet. That's why I mentioned every 15 minutes, uh, the maximum of 15 minutes is what it takes until the scenario basically calls this caller or calls with the AI, that user. So to actually test it, all I'm going to do is click on run once to run the scenario once. And you will see on my phone now that once the scenario ended, we will get a phone call from our AI info calling agent. And now I can reply to it and talk to it. See, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I'm reaching out to see if you've considered selling your property. Uh, have you thought about it at all? 
Um, not at the moment, but maybe in the future. Gotcha. Could you tell me a bit more about your property? Like its type and location? Uh, sure, yeah. It's a penthouse with uh, three bedrooms in Portland. That sounds great. Portland is a lovely area. What's the reason you're considering selling in the future? Uh, I just don't want to live there anymore. But that's it. I don't want to sh share more details. Thank you. Well, so I'm just going to cut the call and now I'm basically just wait until the transcript is over because the make.com scenarios, once you have activated them, will do the rest for you. And all you need to do is just wait and you will see the lead being updated right here with the information if I would like to sell or not. And as you can see, it did it. So it basically set the status to called. You can see that I want to sell it maybe in the future. And you can also see that I have mentioned a penthouse with three bedrooms in Portland. So this is just like demo information that I exported right now from that from the transcript. But you can customize that as well by going into the ChatGPT prompt right here and basically defining the values you would like to have outside of or from the transcript that we basically send along after the call. So to do that again, you copy simply the JSON down here, you head into the JSON editor and you literally just define the other properties or whatever information you would like to extract from that transcript in case there's something else you would like to use. And once you've done that, you just save that part and everything should work right again out of the box. And this is literally it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was pretty quick and pretty dirty. I literally just used a prompt that asked twice for some reason if I want to sell my property, but that is obviously something you can adjust inside of the prompt, but feel free to use that what I gave you here. It is a nice starting point. You can just customize the values depending on what you need. And yeah, so far that is it. It should be a very short tutorial. And my main goal with that is to give you an idea of how powerful those AI voice agents are. And you will definitely see me making some step-by-step -step guides that are com covering the complete process on how you can create dynamic transient-based assistance with WAPI just to get a better understanding of how everything works. So you can actually leverage the whole stuff for your business. For now, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'd obviously appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and until next time, see you. Take care.